All right, so if you have a weird noise coming through the uh, air vents on the Renault Master when you turn the air conditioner on, and I have the ignition on at the moment, I'm just going to turn the AC up. And hopefully you can hear that ticking noise. Gets a bit faster as you turn the volume up. It might sound different depending on what kind of um, debris you have stuck in there, but I'll show you how to uh, locate that and get rid of it. All right, we'll start by popping the bonnet, which uh, is done with this little lever here on the passenger side. And uh, I've already loosened everything up just a little bit, but we'll start by taking the windscreen wipers off. And uh, oops. I've also marked with a bit of tape, if you can see that, where the windscreen wiper is sitting. That just helps to uh, line it back up when you come to put it on, so you don't have to recalibrate where your wipers are sitting. So, nothing complex there just a couple of steel nuts uh, then you've got this plastic strip here um, which has the the air ventilation grill on it and if you can see in there a couple of little plastic nuts 10 millimeter nuts so we'll go ahead and take all those off right so I've got those plastic nuts off the next thing to do is I've got these weather strips here um, they just sort of pop off and you can fold those up on top of the bonnet like that. Same on the other side. And now we'll pull the windscreen wipers off. It helps to wiggle them side to side a little. That's one. And try not to get them mixed up. Again, we go side to side. It's a bit hard to do with one hand. Okay. And that's two. Now, um, this uh, plastic sheath here just behind where my fingers are there are some um, plastic clips that sort of go up underneath a metal sheet that's just below the, the windscreen so we have to kind of come down towards us as we're pulling it out uh, and if we have a, a rubber strip here it uh, might be helpful to pull that off just for the time being so I'll try to get this with one hand if I can so just up underneath here and then sort of down towards us, which is a bit tricky because we've got the the lugs or the, the nuts for the windscreen wipers here. But um, give it a bit of a wiggle. Doesn't sound great, but if you wiggle it around enough, it will come. And then we've got this whole strip free here. Fold that up out of the way. And then if we take a look down in here, you'll hopefully be able to see the, uh, the ventilation fan. Pretty dark in there actually, I might get a light. All right, so a bit of a light here. Right back there, you've got the, the drum fan or um, What's it called? Uh, uh, a blower fan. It's a cylindrical drum shaped thing and we have a problem we've got a bit of debris stuck in there so we'll just go ahead and pull that out. The space is a bit of premium in here for big fat hands. So we've got that bit of debris out. We 
quite like to inspect the rest of the fan, give it a bit of a spin around, and also just inspect the general area here to make sure there's not any leaves or debris that are gonna get sucked up uh, into that fan again. And it all looks pretty clean because I have just cleaned it. So before we go ahead and put everything back together, we'll go ahead and uh, start the fan going again. So I'm back in the vehicle and we'll go ahead and turn up the fan. And that sounds a lot better. We don't have a, a loud rattling ticking noise coming through the ventilation anymore. And so the process is pri uh, pretty uh, straightforward to put it back together. Um, like I said, we've got these plastic lugs, which need to go up underneath this metal, this metal bit here. I'll have to probably put the camera down to do that and I'll come back to you in a sec. Uh, I've got this plastic shroud back uh, in place. It's not firmly in place, but what we're doing is pulling down towards us and then just sort of pushing at the base of here and we'll we'll hear the clicks of those white plastic bits going back underneath the metal Uh, these bits here, I don't know what they're for. I think they might be for rain sensors or something, but there's nothing hidden underneath them. Uh, no screws or anything. So once it feels like it's all firmly sitting in place, we'll put these guard parts down again, and these clip in with a little, little uh, squarish plastic lug that fits into that spot there. Again, over the side, square plastic lug. Look at that. Put the screws back in here. And windscreen wipers, like I say, I've got this blue uh, tape here. That helps me just to register where the starting point of the wiper is. And give that a bit of a, a nudge down. Same on this side, a bit of tape. So I'll go ahead and um, put these uh, nuts back on and then we're pretty much done.